Hello, folks. I am excited to be here today to tell you about my awesome new idea for making a black soldier fly larva composting system incorporating a used tire. You gotta love it because that's like killing two cockroaches with one shoe. And all my fellow bird lovers will understand why I went there with that. Now here's a very rough primitive prototype of my idea. And you see the little hook and eyes down there. There should be two of them, one over here, one over here. But what that does is it allows that screened frame and the roof to tip back this direction. And then it will latch in the front here. So let me show you how that works. And probably a handle that extends up or some way of having that raise up. You tip it up, you place the dog poop in the middle, or if you're gonna use this at home, it could be your kitchen produce, your fruits, vegetables, meat, fish, dairy, and of course your pet waste. All of that can go in there. And then when you got it filled up, this comes down. And what I have not worked out yet is the details of how that will latch on something. But what I'm wanting to do is have it so you push your foot down and it releases the latch. Then you pull up here and it lifts it into the air and you deposit the material inside. When you put it back down, the latch will catch again and be secure and prevent any kind of varmints from getting into your material that you put in there. Not so much of a problem if you're using this at a local dog park and only have dog poop in it. But if you've got uh, fruits and vegetables, and especially meat and uh, fish, seafood and all that stuff, there's definitely other critters gonna wanna get in there. But a system like this will keep them out. Now my roof is a little bit short on this. I would rather have it extend about six inches beyond the tire on either side. And also in my haste, I forgot to make um, the two posts at this end higher because I would like to have the roof angled up a little bit so the water runs off in one direction more quickly. And this roof is an old piece of scrap leftover piece of uh, metal roofing, but that roof could be plywood that's painted. It could be plywood covered with felt paper and shingles. It could be some of that old vinyl material that comes from used billboard signs that have been taken down. There's just so many different things you can use for the roof. You just want it waterproof underneath. You don't want a whole lot of rain washing out on the dog poop. And you definitely want to keep the egg laying, laying location um, dry as well. So now that I've mentioned that, if you see this little thin wire, it was the wire that the manufacturer used to wrap around my hardware cloth. That thin wire was used to keep it from unraveling when it was sold at the store. So it's just a, an extra leftover scrap piece. But I've wrapped that around the entire lid for a very good reason. So watch what happens here. We tip the lid up and then I am going to pull out a couple of pieces of cardboard because black soldier fly larvae love to lay their eggs in the corrugation tubes of cardboard. And we'll take another look at this from a different angle. But now I have a way to bend a piece of cardboard with the tubes exposed to the sides and hang it underneath, which is what they love. They like their egg laying area to be suspended up above the food source. So this will now hang here, staying dry from the weather. It doesn't matter if the bottom little bit gets a little wet, but the females will come attracted to the odor of what's in here and lay their eggs on in the tubes of that cardboard. And that way you maintain a consistent and constant supply. Now another idea that I've had that I really love uh, as part of the system that I've not uh, incorporated yet into this one because I don't have a jigsaw but I am going to recommend that you cut the outer perimeter of one side of the tire it's the tire side that will face the ground and if this is being used at a dog park especially I'd probably put a couple of sticks underneath so that that stays off the ground like a quarter inch or a half inch and the reason being is 
when the larvae are mature and they reach the pre-pupa phase, they're going to want to crawl out of the material and find a safe place to pupate and then emerge as adults. And that lip on the tire kind of makes that difficult and awkward. So we either would have to cut holes and openings up here and put ramps and things, which we don't want to do. So I thought it'd be a whole lot better to just cut off the bottom outer perimeter like this all the way around. Take your saw, just cut it around here, anywhere near the edge. Even that line would be okay. And then have that be the side that faces down. And then it won't trap water either but it shouldn't get any water we know that so anyway this would disappear under here and your larva when they're done feeding and ready to pupate would crawl out towards the perimeter and crawl out into the ground and then shortly thereafter emerge as adults breed and the females come back to your um, container again and lay more eggs so Super, super excited about this, not just for dog parks, but imagine if millions of people put these in their backyard, even people that don't garden and don't give a rip about compost should have these in their yard and compost all of their food scraps, food waste, and pet waste if they pick up after their pet. These could be incorporated at apartments, apartment complexes, even at churches, schools, and of course you could build bigger and more elaborate systems for the bigger uh, locations, or you maybe just would have a series of 10 or 20 tires. But depending on the volume of your dog park, I picture maybe anywhere from one to four or five tires set in a row, uh, each with their own screen and roof on it. And of course that roof is jagged metal. So the roof can be made out of a lot of materials. It has to be safe when it's done. Once again, a very crude prototype, but very excited about this and extremely happy to share it with you. I would appreciate it if you would further help me spread the word by liking this video and passing it along to everybody you know. And like I said, this isn't just for dog parks. It's not just for people to use at home who already compost or garden. This is for everybody, because when we have millions of people using this, we'll keep millions of tires out of the landfill. We'll keep millions of tons of food waste and pet waste out of the landfills, and we'll reduce the cost of picking up the trash, reduce the cost of transporting it because it'll be less trips, reduce the tipping fees, reduce the amount of material going into the landfills. Are you hearing how many winds we have here? You hear how many winds we have here? So much good will come of that. It's, we just got to get the word on out it and get more people to use this. And this goes hand in hand with why I'm really preaching we need to have county level black soldier fly programs. And you can find out more about that on my website. So please like the video, share the video, and subscribe to my page to get more videos like this.